Because on the face of it, there's uh, some good news for a place that does have a lot of money, the city. And our massive financial services uh, sector, the EU's chief negotiator, Michel Barnier, has apparently admitted that he wants a deal with Britain that will guarantee that the, the other 27 member states of the EU have continued access to the city, our city, you know, our financial services. Now, that's good because that means that we've got something that they want ahead of any Brexit negotiation, or am I seeing it wrongly? Jonathan Davis is with me. He's an economist and a wealth advisor. Uh, good morning to you, uh, Jonathan. A, a special relationship with the city. That was quite intriguing to read. Well, Andrew, I, I had to say I, I laughed when I saw this headline. Um, I, as you say, it, it's the first indication that the, uh, the Brussels bureaucrats uh, are effectively confirming that they need us more than we need them. Um, um, so if, if there's free movement of financial trade, uh, doesn't that mean that uh, we could get uh, free movement of, uh, uh, of Audis and, uh, uh, and Volkswagens? What's the difference? As far as I'm concerned, there's no difference. We should have free movement of trade, uh, uh, tariff-free barriers. Uh, tariffs are on an entity. It's just a tax-raising system. It's protectionism, uh, whereas uh, anti-protectionism Free movement of trade, free movement of services is actually good for business, good for jobs. Yes, well, it was interesting, wasn't it, when Barnier said there will be need to work outside the negotiation box. I mean, what, what does he what does he mean by that? I mean, everything leads to the to the to the conclusion that you've reached and, I, and I've reached as well when I was when I was reading that because this is one of the things that they've held over our head. I mean, nine, ten, or eleven percent, whatever it is of our tax take comes from the city. So it's important, our financial services sector. And if that remains intact and people stay here, these the, the, the big money boys and girls in the city, this, this is great news, isn't it? Um, they are going to stay here, whatever happens. There's nowhere else for them to go. Um, the, uh, the infrastructure and the setup in Frankfurt and Paris, which are the only two possible alternatives, um, are, are not even remotely close to what's already set up uh, in the city. It's a bit like um, Silicon Valley in California. You couldn't imagine it anywhere else in America because the whole setup is ideal for bringing out new technology. Similarly, uh, the city of London has it all set up. There's nowhere for them to go. It's a total red herring that the city might move somewhere else. It's never going to happen. It's a bit like the unicorn. I'll believe it when it happens. So it isn't going to happen. What, what, um, I'll tell you what might make people move, though, uh, Jonathan. Have a, have a little think about uh, Corbyn's pos possible maximum wage. That'll get rid of all you, uh, you big money types out there. Well, I, again, uh, like, the, like the unicorn, uh, I'll believe it when it happens. Because uh, if you think that uh, Corbyn is, is any uh, bit worse than the, uh, the bureaucrat statists, the communists in the EU, then you'd be wrong. Um, that's, the re that's one of the reasons why we need to get out of the EU, because it's run by unelected statist bureaucrat communists. All right. It's a simple fact. Just look at their CVs. Jonathan, just lastly, before we go to the, to, to the news, another thing that was in the article, it was in The Guardian, the EU worried that the United Kingdom might slash corporate tax rates uh, to, to compensate for Brexit. They've got, they've got their eye on us. It would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Slash corporate tax rates and, uh, and get big businesses here and build things up. That's a good idea. If the EU don't like it, let's do it. Uh, I, yes, I think the last point you made there is the best one. Anything that the EU doesn't like, we should do. That is generally what I'd agree with. All right, Jonathan Davis, thank you very much indeed, economist and wealth advisor. Eight